lovely to meet you today. Nice to meet you. I am Profika. Most welcome, please. Hello everyone. Today I'm here in Posvika with a lovely Afghanistan family, um, Ali and his wife Zara. Um, so today we are going to be cooking together um, a traditional dish. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about what we're cooking today? Uh, actually today we cook uh, uh, biryani and we do also kebab. Tell me something Rizal, about uh, our country. What do you think about our country? Of Afghanistan? Yes, of Afghanistan. I think it's, like you said, I think it's um, sad that people don't have the opportunities that they should um, because of the Taliban regime. Mm -hmm. And so I can definitely understand why you've decided or why, why there was the need to leave uh, Afghanistan, even though I'm sure that was a very difficult decision, leaving behind your home, maybe family members and friends. Um, but yeah, I can definitely uh, appreciate how you came to that decision because it seems like it's a very um, it's a very difficult place to live at the moment, especially for women, but for everyone um, because of of the Taliban and and the kind of politics involved. Um, is, is religion still uh, very important to you? I assume it is, or...? In Afghanistan, it's not just Taliban, you know. Mm. There are many religions also. Mm. Because now I am Hazara people, you know. Mm -hmm. We are Hazara and other things, you know. Tajik, mm. Uzbek, Pashtun, mm. a lot of religion. They don't like it as. They don't like Shia people. Okay. We are Shia, you know. Mm -hmm. They thought you are like kufar. They tell us you are kufar. Okay. You know we are not Muslim. Okay. They kill Hazara people. You listen now before, before three months, four months ago, they attacked in hospital mm. oh, in wow. Kabul. You know. Okay. They kill the children, kids, wow. mama pregnant. You know. Yeah. So why? just because just Hazara people okay. in Kabul, you know, because they they thought we are not Muslim. Yeah. It's not good, you know. Yeah. They kill, I think, 300 people, 300 kids. Yeah. So since kind of coming to Prosvika and interacting with different people in the community, like how have you found that experience with people from everywhere and people from Greece? I think this is a good experience, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, if we are li living with the different communities, mm -hmm. uh, this is very big experience, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we know about these people, how can they live? Mm -hmm. Romanian people, Iranian people, mm -hmm. Greek people, and English people, mm -hmm. you know. How can they live? How can they do? We, we will try to mm. combine yeah. with us, you know, yeah. with them. So I think this is a very good experience. Uh, and also, sometimes, every time, or sometimes, we help. We have, if I need help, mm -hmm. the people come, yeah. they help me. Like now, mm -hmm. one guy, they call me, oh, I bring you to carpet. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. You need carpet, you don't have nothing, so I bring you. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. I come after one hour, I take it. Yeah. Because now I am new here, mm -hmm. so they, these people help me. Yeah. We are not here Muslim, we are not Catholic, we are nothing, just we are Kotsika, yes. refugee. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. So the different yes. religions yes. and... You don't it doesn't, thought yeah. that you are Greek, you are Romania, you are Romania. Yeah. No. no. You are our family. Yeah. You are living just like one family. Yeah. yeah. So... This isn't the first place that you've lived in Greece so far, is it? Um, where, what was your experience like before you came to Prosvika? Uh, yes, this is the first time we lived together with mm -hmm. one community. But before uh, this, uh, our conditions too bad, you know. Mm -hmm. The refugee procedure is too long in Greece, you know. Mm -hmm. But why? Because it's too much refugee. Yeah. This is not part of Greece, you know. Mm -hmm. Because this is not just Afghan people, this is not just Iranian people. A lot of countries, you know, the economic 
the political, yeah. the, a lot of refugees they come there. Yeah. But that are, I think the process is too long. Okay. Uh, uh, before that, we are. I I I have a little money. Mm -hmm. I rent and uh, one room. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's 200, 250. Mm -hmm. We are living in the one room mm -hmm. with the other people. Mm -hmm. You know, they are they are one apartment. They are room three rooms. Mm -hmm. the every room is too much people. You know, yeah. it's not good for family. But we we don't have a choice. Yeah, we do. This. This is part of refugee. Yeah, yeah. So we come, we come here. We wait for, we wait for uh, procedure. Mm -hmm. we, we rent one room and uh, we living with other people. Sometimes the people living in the bar, mm -hmm. they don't have a money. I have a return money. I think I spent uh, this uh, eight nine months. I spent. Uh, with, uh, I think uh, four or five thousand euro. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I uh, I I give the rent, mm -hmm. food mm -hmm. like that. But some organization they give the food also. You yeah. know, but it's not easy to. You go with family mm -hmm. every time. Uh, you have a problem for shower. You have a pro problem for toilet. Yeah. You have a problem for eating. It's too much problem. You have a problem also for doctor. Yeah. You know, you don't have a paper mm -hmm. when you go hospital. You mm -hmm. can't because you don't have an anchor. Yeah. So this is very this part of refugee. Yeah. You know? Now uh, I'm happy. I'm I can here. Mm -hmm. I think the Pratika they do for refugee. Mm -hmm. This is the longest story of Greek. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this building, this six seven building, they do for refugee people. Yeah. So now a lot of refugee people, the family, mm -hmm. they living. There, yeah. mm -hmm. the living here is not for all the life. Maybe one year, six months. Mm -hmm. After that, they go, mm -hmm. and other people they can. Not just refugee. Mm. Yeah, like Romania people, like Bulgarian people, they don't have a home. Yeah, they come there. Yeah, and uh, we are living together. I'm happy because uh, when I need help. They come. Mm -hmm. When they need help, I go. Yeah. This is part of Prophetica. Yeah. Yeah. What do you hope for your daughter as she grows older, now that you're living here, now that she has opportunities for education? Yes, of course. I, I, I want my daughter, she she educated, she she come on educated person like me. Mm -hmm. An open mind, yeah. not close. Yeah. You know, not like uh, in my country, the woman, you know, my wife, she, she, can't, she can't go to school. Why? Mm. Why? Because uh, our country, the, the Taliban, the mm. Al-Qaeda, I don't know what, 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 before just Taliban, which I have been like that, every time they want for, for, for women, it's very difficult. Yeah. Life is too much difficult for women. They don't have a right. Yeah. You know, when you don't have a right, what can you do in this country? You go. Yeah. You search your right. Yeah. So how can I search my right? My daughter, one day she go to school. Mm -hmm. One day she do want, she do. Yeah. One day she she tries our life partner, she tries. Yeah. Me I know. You marriage with six in my in my country when they when they found some Taliban, she see he see your daughter, she is I think 60, 70, 50 years old. They take, I marriage with her. Yeah. 16 years old, 17 years old. Wow. If you don't, if you don't give your your daughter, they kill you, wow. and they, they they give your daughter. Yeah. So I don't want like that. Yeah. I have my family. One day I hope she's coming back. Mm. So why not she live uh, herself and uh, independent? Yes. Yeah. Independent life. Yeah. You know. What was the condition of? Um, this apartment, like when you first got here, you said it was it was quite a bad condition. Uh, condition of this apartment uh, is too bad, you know, yeah. because this is old building, you know. Yeah. I think is now is eighteen five year, nineteen years old yeah. building. This is not new building, you know. Mm -hmm. They need the reparation, you know. So when I can here, yeah, you know, it's too bad too bad and too dirty, you know. Mm -hmm. I show you one movie. Uh, really is too bad. So I work during one month. Uh, hard, huh? 
Yeah. I start seven o'clock. I finish ten o'clock night. Wow. Okay. And eleven o'clock night. Yeah. Sometimes all the night I work. You know. Yeah. Uh, after one month now is coming good. Yeah. Uh, I hope when I go, somebody more mm -hmm. profit. Yeah. Of this apartment, and uh, like me, one family he need help also. You know, there is not rich people. They come in Rafika. Yeah. They Rafika, they, they, they come people, they need the help, refugee. Mm -hmm. It's not important if you are refugee or not. If you really need help, you yeah. come here. Who, who want to come in life with mm -hmm. bad condition? Yeah. It's not, it's not good, but something is better than that. Than nothing, yeah. you know? So why not? So well, you hope to leave it in a good condition for the next people who need Yes, of course. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? After me, maybe one people like me. Yeah. He can here. Yeah. And the prophet is perfect for him. Yeah. I leave everything there, I go. Yeah. Yes, and then everything. Yeah. I don't take nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody profit to our life, you know. It's good for them. You know? Yeah. yeah. And other people uh, who live here in the community, they've helped you um, with making this apartment better, with uh, like plastering and wires and... Yes, of course, uh, everyone they help here, you know, because mm. uh, I tell you before, we are living like one community, you know. Yeah. Then we live one home. Yeah. All the family. So and everyone sometime helps. Sometimes your difficulty, Mm -hmm. All the family thought for you. Why? Yeah. So they want to help you. Mm -hmm. You know, if I need help, they thought for me. Oh, Ali, he need help. Mm -hmm. You go, you go, you go. Yeah. Help him. Yeah. So they can help me. If I someday I am sick, mm -hmm. somebody give me, they bring me car. Yeah. We go hospital. Yeah. You know, it's like that life in You know, yeah. this is refugee life. Real refugee life. You know? Yeah. So I think uh, there is one uh, one thousand people they are living in the figure now. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not criminal. They are not druggers. Yeah. And they are family. Yeah. They need just help. Yeah. So maybe I request also Greek government mm -hmm. they live for refugee. Yeah. Because this is very historical. Mm. Building. Yes. Yeah. Maybe one day the, the tourists profit this. Yeah. Yeah. I see many times the the people they come they take the picture. Yeah. You know the now we are living in the center of Athens. Yeah. Around of this building there are the beautiful buildings. You know. Yeah. Right hand you are Supreme Court, mm -hmm. hospital, cancer hospital, and a lot of embassy. Yes. You know. Yeah. This is very, very close. Good, you know, yeah. This is very good area. You know. Yeah. And beautiful area. When mm -hmm. you see one building, all building, oh, you are in shock. Mm. You want to see this? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why in the center of cities like that building? Maybe this is one historical building. Yeah. They come in, they take the photo and they profit. Yeah. You know, I think it's good. It's yeah. not bad. It's not. Uh, uh, it's not too bad. Yeah. Maybe uh, they need some reparation and uh, the tourists are profit. The refugee also profit. Also, you know. Mm. Like, if you if you do, I don't know now. Now the police that is that tell they do one parking like that, one hospital, one office. I Maybe mean, they do, but one thousand people they will go. Yeah. They have a family, you know, on their own. Mm. So I think it's better for refugee people. Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, it's been here for eighty-five years, and it's housed refugees for all of that time, like people who came here from Asia Minor originally and now it's still housing refugees for all that time. I noticed thousands of uh, people of refugees because there is also living the European people, Yeah. you know, like uh, Roman Greek people also yeah. they are living here, Greek people, German people, yeah. English people, mm. French people, mm. Romanian people and uh, Actually, the German and French and France and the, the rich country, they, they, they're not come for living, they come just for help. Yeah. You know, 
is the political decision, you know, mm -hmm. they come here just for help. Mm -hmm. It's not for the like Romania, Bulgaria, the poor country, mm -hmm. maybe they need help also, you know, mm -hmm. like us. Yeah. It's not uh, if, it, if, if, if they, have, uh, they are rich, but they don't come here. Yeah. They rent an apartment, they buy an apartment. Yes, yeah. They are living a relaxed yeah. life. It's not true. Uh, there is very difficult life also, you know, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. When you take one apartment, you do. Mm -hmm. The people help you, yes. Yeah. But you do also. Yeah. So me also, I want, oh, I go one day in a good apartment, I, I live relaxed, yeah. not too much work, mm -hmm. not too much difficulty, mm -hmm. but now I need, mm -hmm. what can I do? Yeah. I was, I was wondering, how so you call your daughter Ellen? Why group name, how so? This is Lugatia. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. yeah. You have a choice of name. You don't must be Muslim man, Muslim man, Muslim man, Muslim man. No, this is the best. The choice of the man, the choice of life. That's beautiful. This is not uh, the property of people. Yes. You know? Yeah. This is our daughter. We like call Elena. Yeah. We call Elena. Thank you so much for hosting us today. It's really been lovely. Um, and the food was great. And it's been wonderful hearing about your experience it's really educated me um, to, to learn about what you've been through on your journey here and your time in Hosvika um, so yeah thank you so much for having us today thank you very much you are also uh, for coming uh, for, for me it's very good experience and uh, you are most welcome uh, anytime Oh, thank you so much. Thank you.